Hi! Today we are going to learn how to create a paid article site with Paper Post. The CM Paper Post plugin gives the ability to charge users for accessing content on your site. You can lock any content type – post, page and even custom post types from other plugins. It works the same for all these types, so we will use post as an example in this use case video. We will cover how to charge users via direct payment to have access to parts of your website, such as pages or posts. We consider that you have already bought and installed the base plugin Pay Per Post and add-on EDD Direct Payments. You receive both products upon purchase. The plugin also requires being installed one of the payment plugins, either EDD or WooCommerce. Don't forget to configure the payment plugin. This way you can connect it to payment providers such as PayPal or credit card companies. We will use EDD in our video. The first decision we have to make is how to charge users. So let's navigate to CM Paper Posts Pro Settings General tab, where you can configure it in the subscriptions section. Paper each post. The user have to activate the subscription for each post. Paper pricing group. The user have to activate subscription once for pricing group and he will have access to all posts associated with the pricing group. Paper pricing group or single post. The user is able to see both subscription options, price per single and per group access, on post or page. Effectively, it's a combination of the previous two, so let's consider this option in our use case video. Next step, creating options for prices. Navigate to the pricing tab. Here you can create pricing groups and define which posts should belong to this group. Here you can give a name to the pricing group, add periods and define price for each period. You can add as many groups and periods as you need. You can create options in minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, years and lifetime. You can also manage posts assigned to this group, add or delete them. When the pricing group is created, you can find the shortcode with its ID under the box. You can copy this shortcode and place anywhere you need to sell the access to the group. You can also determine which posts are locked behind the paywall while editing needed post. First, create or edit a relevant post. Then scroll down to the CM Paper Posts meta box. Which options are available on each post depends on the settings. As we chose paper pricing group or single post, we have both options. Setting a price group and setting one price that will apply only to this post. So you should edit each needed post or page to set its individual pricing. We can choose both variants. Now users will be prompted to pay before accessing the content. Now get back to the general settings. For SEO purposes, you can enable indexing the full post content by the search engine scrollers. Just turn on the option Show full post for search engine scrollers. The plugin will serve the entire post instead of the payment box for crawlers that request your website with a specific user agent HTTP header. You can manage the supported search engines by editing the setting Search engines user agent list. Here in the General tab you can choose what is shown to visitors before they pay. Show only part of the content. Specify how much of the content is hidden. A few more options are available when you enable it. You can display excerpt instead of the content. Or you can display some percentage from the content with the possibility to apply fade out effect. Hide content. This option completely hides the content. Hide full page. This option hides the full page, including content, header and footer. Hide specific page elements. Specify which elements of the page are hidden. Here you need to set ID of block that will be replaced with payboxes and set IDs of blocks that will be hidden. Also, in this tab you can set Reload browser when subscription expires. If enabled, script will check in the background if the subscription is still active and reload the browser when it expires or user has been logged out to disallow further reading post. Allow subscription form for guest user. 
If enabled, guest users will see a subscription form. They will be able to log in during checkout. You can also restrict only specific sections of the content. If the user is not a subscriber, he or she will see a restricted section box instead of the locked content. A pay box will be triggered at the end of the content. This is done via a short code that you can see on the screen. Locking the content is easy. Simply surround needed content with the short code as shown. You can use the short code many times in the same content. It's important to notify both the admin and users when new subscriptions are active. The plugin always sends notifications to users and you can enable or disable the admin alerts. Head to the Notifications tab. There you can see three types of notifications for customers and one for the admin. You can enable or disable each of them and customize the subject and body of every email template using the following placeholders. The admin can track all active subscriptions at any time. Navigate to CM Paper Posts Pro Subscriptions. This page displays the subscriptions that have been added. Subscriptions are listed by pricing group, post, user, start and end time, duration, amount paid, payment plugin, status and action. You can manually add new subscription by clicking the button Add New. You need to indicate a post which already have a pricing group assigned to it. Indicate the username and the duration. Adding a manual subscription also lets you add non-paying users to the subscription. Each user can also view his active and past subscription. You need to create a page which includes the short code that you can see on the screen. Using the Pay Per Post plugin you can restrict any post type, even the ones managed by other plugins. To choose post types, navigate to the General tab, Post Types section. There, choose which post types to support. Note that there is a general rule. We cannot guarantee compatibility with all third-party plugins, as that involves code that we don't control. The plugin allows you to translate or adapt the language shown to the users of your site. Navigate to the Labels tab and edit all relevant text. There are dozens of labels that you can customize. The payment labels may naturally include the duration and price of the access. To solve this, we use the placeholders percent %s for duration and dot percent to %f for price. It's possible to restrict users from copying locked content. To set this up, navigate to the General tab and enable the option Prevent users from copying content. Following instructions found in the plugin and guides, you should be able to charge users for accessing to your posts. Thanks for watching the video.